it's been 11 years since you were in the Western Conference Final with the Coyotes. Between then, you played in just nine games. Does that make you appreciate this opportunity even more? Yeah, I think so. Uh, I think, uh, I mean, obviously not a lot of playoff games, but uh, a lot of games in the league. Um, a lot of hard work to, to get to this point. Uh, a lot of ups, a lot of downs. Uh, but I think uh, at the same time, you kind of had to go through that to appreciate this opportunity, uh, where you're at in life. And, and uh, I mean, Stein, Stanley Cup final, it doesn't get much better than this. When you signed here, did you, and how much you, was this your goal to get to the Stanley Cup final with this team? Yeah, it was. That's why you yeah, here? Yeah. 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 I would say so. You know, when you look at how hard it is to get here, just going through the mental grind, was it tough staying, keeping that cup dream alive throughout all these years? Uh, yeah, I mean, I think you don't really think about it like that. I think you try to stay in the moment and, and try to, to get better every day uh, and kind of live and learn. Uh, put in a lot of work to, to get to this point and to, to be in this league. Uh, I've been fortunate enough to be, be in the league for a long time and, and get this opportunity means the, means the world for, for myself and my family. So, yeah, it's special. I know you really enjoyed your time here. What makes this team in particular special? It seems like tighter than most. Yeah, I think just like when I first got here, everybody was super friendly, brought me in right away. and. And I don't think it matters if you play in 30 minutes or five minutes. I think everybody knows that they're valuable for the team and, and feel the same way. And that's that's why I love this team. I, I think it's it's been been a blast all year and, and how hard we have worked all year. Uh, but at the same time, to, to manage to have fun with it, I think that's the key for, for this group. I mean, I think practicing, playing with him, I think you realize that pretty quick how good he is. Uh, trying to get one puck by, by him in practice, it's not easy, so I... <laughs> Uh, I'm I'm happy that I'm on on his side of things, uh, but yeah, just the way he he skates and his stick and How do you explain his stick? yeah, I I don't know. I wish I knew because I would have done the same thing. But uh, no, just uh, he's able to get get a stick on on the puck every single single time it seems like, and yeah, he, he's he's one of those guys that it's you can't beat him. I don't know. Uh, so it's it's a really good advantage for us, I, I feel like. But just the way he treats himself off the ice too, uh, treats his body uh, before every practice, every game. Um, just a pro, such a good leader for us. Um, very humble and very nice uh, person. Um, I think just started from the training camp, you know, everybody's mindset and when I've noticed that when the guys came in, they weren't just satisfied with, you know, starting the season. They wanted to, you know, get going and, and get to this position. Um, and I think like, I believe like that and, uh, and, uh, you know, determination and the mindset like that just forms like the good bond between all of us. Because we're all like pulling in, in one direction, and and uh, it's been it's been pretty great, you know. Looking back at the at the whole season, that you know the group of guys that we have, I'm I'm grateful for it. Yeah, it's been, yeah, it's been really fun year. Yeah, really fun. Are you interested in watching? You don't think it's going to be entertaining watching? 
Yeah, he's a character. So there, there'll be some good lines in there, and uh, like we're, we're a close team, so it won't just be him. You'll see some some other guys in the background, I'm sure, doing some funny stuff. Uh, that's the the beauty of this team. You know, he interacts with every guy like like they're all equal. He doesn't treat anyone, you know, better or worse than others, and that's just the kind of guy he is. And um, it'll be so cool to see for everybody when it comes out. But uh, yeah, it's been it's been cool to see these cameras following the guys around. Even the camera guys are interacting with with the guys as well. So uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. What's your first impression of Sam Bennett? Because from the outside, he seems very serious and, and like almost like an enforcer, but he scores goals. Yeah, I mean, he's like almost your perfect playoff player. And every team in the league, I don't care what you say or think about him, you know, he, he is um, one of the top players in the league when it comes to this time of year. And um, great player, great guy. Like you said, he's just that he's got that quiet, quiet demeanor about him. Um, just that that, that stoic, you know, stone face sometimes almost, and that's just Benny. You know, he opens up sometimes here and there, not often, but uh, you know, he, he when you get him laughing, you know something's funny. So it's cool to see. What's the softer side of Sam? <laughs> yeah, I think I said he, he doesn't show up. Well. Yeah, it, it takes a little bit to get him going, but uh, yeah, Benny's a great guy, great leader in the locker room, and um, playing against him throughout junior and. and um, coming into the league as well he was you know a guy you wanted to to know when he was on the ice when you're out there against him because you know you, you slip up for one second he's probably to come in there and pace you and maybe take the puck go down the score too so um yeah we're lucky to have him do you want to run security and just stand right here yeah if, if, you, if, if you don't mind it's it, i got all these lights shining off it too it's catching my eye but um yeah it's, it's pretty cool so cool. thanks yeah, thank you I brought one. I didn't know there was going to be two here already. So yeah, I was going to say. I, yeah, it's it's. Uh, I haven't really um, taken the time to really look back on everything just yet because it's still kind of in the process. But up to this point, it's been. Um, too good to be true sometimes but it, it's just been a heck of a ride and I've enjoyed every minute of it even the days when you know personally when I wasn't in the lineup and there were some some tough times I, I just tried coming to the rink with a positive outlook and, and we have such a good group in that locker room that um, there wasn't one point at all where I felt like excluded or, or um, this or that um, it's just crazy how fast it's all happened and, and from getting traded here and, and getting texts from from Barky and, and Chucky about how you know we're going to try and get back to this this spot that we're in right now and, and have a chance to win it this year is um, just to kind of sit here and think of where I was then like it was yesterday and, and here we are and now we can actually go do something about it so it's pretty cool to see it come almost full circle but uh, you know we're not we're not finished yet that's a lot and that's what's nice you know there, there's um, being in a smaller market you can kind of joke around and get away with a little bit more stuff I, I think and um, you know what happens that locker room stays in that locker room and um, we got a lot of jokes on this team and, and everybody is is equal on this team doesn't matter if you're you know the top line player or, or a healthy scratch every guy's poking fun at one another and that's just what makes the environment so great we have such a good group of guys that's um, yeah, we just bounce things off each other, and we're always laughing. Even on the ice, carries over pregame, in between periods. It's always tried to be kept light. You know, we have a serious job. We know that uh, a lot comes with this job, but, um, you know, the lighter you can keep it, the better we can go out and, and perform. I, it's, it's pretty special, for sure. Uh, I mean, yeah, I mean, just the guys around, everybody so close to each other, uh, just having fun and, like, for, for the hockey part, I think we're just it's able to bring all the, the, all, the, the, all the good pieces, the uh, everybody fills their role, season. and uh, we have a good depth this so year, so uh, it's, it's been good. Uh, we know you, you uh, we talk a lot, you know, you, you, you don't take things for granted, and, and that's how we are right now. Yeah, it's been we're really not, fun the whole whole year, and uh, like you said, we just take that two and a half hour, three hour when we have a game, we're just focusing all in, all in that, but after that, we're just relaxed and uh, having fun. And uh, I mean, uh, stuff I think like it's, that. it's just funny. Uh, I mean, obviously, Bar Mark is one of the best players in the league, so if somebody calls me, they bark up and get offended, you know? So, yeah, it's pretty hard, but it's, uh, it's at the same time, it's pushing us to be better players, to try to challenge yeah. him one on one and sure stuff like that. And uh, yeah, he's been, he's been taking really big steps these past two years, and uh, yeah, he's been just unreal the whole playoffs. I'm just trying to win for them. So it's not weird when they do it, when the boys do it. 
Yeah, no, it's just, it, I mean, it is a little bit, but it's just, like I said, I don't see myself like that, but I know that, that the guys do. So I appreciate it, but at the same time, if somebody says something, I'm probably just going to go skate the other way. <laughs> how how is it to stay grounded when you're this, you're this close? I mean, you know, you've had such a long break through it, but you've never been this close. How, how hard is it to stay in the moment? It's not. For me, it's, it's really not. And it's, like, I'm going to talk about it. I, I, you talk about it. Hey, if we win, you know, you do this. It's not like I'm, I'm too old for those superstitions. Like, oh, my gosh, we can't talk about winning the cup. It's like, no. Like, that's our goal. Why wouldn't we talk about it? Um, you know, if, and, and so we're four wins away. They're four wins away. Um, and it's just, it's a ton of fun to be this close. And I feel like we're here for a reason because we've done the right thing. So, yeah, we, we can talk about it. But then, boom, once, once the game starts, once it's time to get ready for the game, then you stay in the moment. Then you just, um, I said it before the other game, you consume the moment. You don't let it consume you. And I think that that's extremely important is just you have to embrace the moment because the second that you start looking around and going, oh, my God, we're four wins away from winning the, winning the Stanley Cup, then you start to do things that you haven't done all year. So you have to make sure that you are staying in the moment, but you also understand where you're at and you, and you don't let that bog you down. You've got to put a little bit more focus on, on you know, a couple of their high-end players, but, um, you know, we defend as a team and... Um, We'll do the same this series. Yeah, I think it's it's you know what we've been doing all playoffs. You you play the game, and as soon as it's over, you move on to the next one. Um, you look at a day like today. You you go through your media stuff. When this is over, you, you turn the page. You get ready for game one. So um, there's obviously a little bit extra attention, but finally. Holy, take your time. Um, a little bit extra attention, but, um, you know, I think the focus is pretty clear uh, right now on, on, you know, what we have to focus on, and uh, I don't think they'll, we'll be distracted that much. They are, uh, we got a little, you know, we have a little hockey rink at our house that we always play mini sticks in, and, um there's been some, you know, games that end and, you know, our ultimate goal. And uh, it's definitely, you know, they're excited. I'm excited. And it should be a fun few weeks. Yeah, I think that's the thing. Um, I said it, you know, yesterday in a different interview, but it's like having 25, 27, however many, you know, brothers, you know, we love each other like brothers, but we also make fun of each other like brothers do too. Um, we're the hardest on each other, but we're also our, our biggest supporters. And um, yeah, it'd be a, it's really rewarding getting this far and you know hopefully finishing the job. Tomorrow. Well, obviously, yeah, it's, it's been a long time uh, waiting, and we're ready for we get going tomorrow. And it's a lot of excitement in a row. How much will you take an opportunity, even if it's only for a split second before puck drop? to just take it all in because the atmosphere is going to be amazing and it's game one of the Stanley Cup final. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I think they're all starting some in the warm-ups. Uh, you see all the fans will be there and even skating in before, before a game. It'll be uh, electric. And uh, it's been kind of a point of emphasis. We've heard the players, the coaches, a lot of people talk about it, but to be able to go through this with a smile on your face, enjoy yourself. Obviously, there's going to be pressure. You probably want some pressure to an extent, but to be able to enjoy it, how important is that? Yeah, you gotta enjoy this. Like this is the best time of our lives, so we gotta uh, be focused, but still be relaxed and, and take pride in what we do. You've been able to take any, any, I guess, uh, wisdom, anything from the guys who who played in it last year to, to any pointers, anything like that? Uh, not yet, but I'm sure that'll come along as as, as, soon, as soon as the game starts or the series goes on here. So uh, just it'll be fun. And the last thing, uh, last thing for me here. Um, I know you've been asked this question a lot over the course of the series. Everybody's going to be matched up with the big guns from Edmonton. How do you how do you match up against guys like that? What are the biggest keys against those elite offensive weapons they have? Well, just be aware of when they're on ice. Uh, I mean, they're real skilled guys. You just got to be close and, and get uh, take their time and uh, space away and just try and focus on your game. And I'm also trying to. Uh, 
you know, keep your mind off it as much as possible and just enjoy, I don't know, I guess the warm weather, be outside as much as you can. But it's, it's hard not to think about game one. And now that it's uh, finally almost here, it's, it's more exciting now than earlier in the week. I'm just going to play poker. That's it. Uh, just, I guess I know them more than probably most guys by playing in Calgary, but, um, you know, we just had the one playoff series against them that they won and played them a bunch in the regular season. But there's a lot of different guys over there. Um, I was just saying earlier, I don't even know if I've faced um, Skinner yet since he's been on the team. Um, maybe I have, but... Um, it, it's it's different. It's definitely different over there. Um, you know, they're playing great. They're a great team. Finally got to watch some of their games um, against Dallas, playing every other night, um, you know, in our series and their series. So it was it was uh, good to watch their games. They, they played really well and ultimately deserved to, to win the West. So should make for a great final. What has just been your time here since you were a player? I, I mean, I know obviously the ultimate goal is yeah it's been it's been amazing this is the best place to live play it's it's been unreal um the guys are so so awesome it's a really cool group of guys uh it's it's uh, the trainers everybody like everybody made me feel so welcome from day one um which i think led to success early and and now two years later we're going back to the second cup final and hoping to have a different end this time so it's uh very, very, it's a very good time to be a Florida Panther. Um, I'm enjoying it. I love being down here. I love playing here. It's been, you know, the best thing for me. So I've been loving it. Yeah, I've got, uh, yeah, I got the Amazon crew with me um, over the last little bit. So, um, no, I, don't, I still don't really know what it's ultimately gonna gonna look like, but I think it's cool for uh, you know we love watching all those shows, whether it's the uh, the golf, um, you know, the tennis or the Formula One or whatever it is. It just kind of gives uh, a, a good sneak peek into how athletes are um, on and off the ice, I guess. So I think it's very cool, and um, it's a great idea by them in the NHL, and uh, I'm sure everybody's gonna like it. I'm assuming. What's the most Hollywood thing about me? Oh my gosh, absolutely nothing, probably. So, this is new for me. This is, yeah, he, he's got a like a 1970s Hollywood mustache. Not not so much anymore. Matthew, when you have the support of the community as well as the fans and players around the league, what does it mean to you? And also, two part question to this: What is the first thought that comes to mind when you think of Edmonton and also with so much history of your family? Of course, you've seen. Yeah, well, first of all, the support around here has been amazing. Uh, it just it keeps growing like almost daily from when I first came and when I, you know, going back to when I first started playing in the NHL for Calgary, coming down here, um, 2016. It's it's night and day from what it is right now, and um, you see the success that the team's having. And it's only helping everybody in the community. And so many people are into hockey. People are coming up to us left and right. Um, you know, in Fort Lauderdale, or you know, I've been in. I've been in West Palm and Miami the past week and, you know, both places all the way, you know, both sides of it are just so excited. Um, people are talking about hockey everywhere in South Florida, so it's really cool. And um, I don't remember your second the first part. part. The first thought that comes to mind when you think of Edmonton and all the history, and especially, you know, you come from a hockey family as well. Yeah. Obviously, there's a lot of things that could pop up to Yeah, no, I'd just say the first thing that, that comes to mind is, you know, when you play a team in Canada, there's there's a different uh, type of, I guess, passion and, and spotlight. And, you know, I mean, everybody in not only Edmonton, but Canada is going to be glued to their TVs this series watching. So, um, you know, it's, it's, it's definitely, uh, you know, you see uh, playing in Calgary, you see the passion that Canadian fans have. And um, I don't think it's much different from the fans down here right now, to be honest. Everybody's into it. And it's going to be a great series. And sorry, I don't know. It's been. Uh, I know last year was booed every time I touched the puck, but this year there was nothing, so I have no idea. Yeah, 
Yeah, I mean, he's coached, I don't even know the amount of games and the amount of hours he's put in, and um, he's such an amazing coach. He's, uh, he's, you know, the best one I've had. He's, he's gotten um, me to become a better player than when I first started here, and um, just kind of everything. So I, I've got, you know, nothing but, but good things to say about him. He's got a ton of respect for him, um, and I think all the players, you know, first and foremost, you really want to win it, you know, for yourself and your teammate next to you but I think you know a guy like Paul this would you know it means a lot to to him you know from all of us seeing what he's done for us the past two years and um, you know we, we definitely would want to get it for him. When you're greedy like the team plays well when it plays greedy is there a way to bring that element without getting the refs too engaged at the same time because obviously I respect the play so can you kind of have both discipline with that grit? I don't even know if we play that gritty, to be honest. We just play like hard, whistle to whistle. Um, you know, you guys, I'm sure, have watched us the last couple of series. There's really nothing going on, um, or all year. Like, really, there's nothing after the whistle. There's, there's no nonsense or really chirping or, or anything that's you know not just playing hard, whistle to whistle. So I think that's probably a big difference from last year. We were, you know more physical in that sense um and this year you know we're we're super disciplined i'm not just talking like not taking penalties but you know discipline in your routes and your shift length and um setting up the next guy so i'd say our team discipline as a whole has been our our biggest achievement uh so far and, and probably our best asset right now between the rest of stuff, annoying people, that, that was a big part of your game you know, for a time. Is it just not as necessary now because the team game is a little better and you don't need to find that same uh, maybe that's Maybe that's fair. I'd say um, I used to be, that used to be a, a part of my game that now it's pretty non existent anymore. So um, I've kind of learned what works and what works is playing as hard as I can for. 30 to 45 seconds. Well, sometimes I take the long shift, so 30 to a minute, um, and just leaving it all out there and coming back to the bench and getting rested for the next one. There's, there's no need to waste your time doing extra stuff. Your relationship with Jason, with Jason Tatum, went back. Um, you talk about how cool it is to be in the finals. Have you had any communication with him? What's that like for you? Know, two young guys coming up right Yeah, it's it's actually really cool when you think about it, and um, I think. Everyone from St. Louis, um, you know, whether they were going to watch it or not, with having both of us in, like, I'd say there's a lot of people, especially, you know, kids we grew up with and families and people that know, you know, know us, they're pulling for both teams. So um, it's super cool to have that support back home um, for not only myself, but for the Celtics as well. Um, you know, I know I'm, I'm watching the games, I watched the game last night, so I think it would be unreal for for Chaminade and for all of St. Louis, if we can, if we, if we can both uh, win it. Um, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm definitely cheering for him. Yep, definitely. How much money would you be willing to spend to run out the <laughs> How much money would I be willing to rent out? Um, the answer is a lot, but the good thing is I don't think we have to. <laughs> I think they might just give it to us. Last year we saw you at the end of that game where you said to someone, I, I told you we'd be back. How high was the confidence to believe that you Yeah, we just had a lot of confidence this year going into playoffs. We were building our game from – we really just got off to a great start of the season, so we were kind of building the whole way um, and going into playoffs. Like, we, we've had a tough – you know, much much like Edmonton, you know, you play some some great teams on the, on the way to get here. You know, us having to slay the dragon with Tampa first round, play Boston, who in my opinion is – physically one of the hardest teams if not the hardest to play against in the whole league um and then playing the ragers who are president you know the president trophy winners so um we we've had a tough tough road to get here but you know just that belief has grown series in and series out and you know the further we go the more belief i have